Hey guys, it's Emily from Red House Books with my second in my mailbox vlog. And I didn't get anything in the mail this week, but I bought a few things that I really want to show you because I'm pretty excited about them. I mean, they're books. Of course, I'm excited about them. But these in particular are really good. First up is debut author C.C. Hunter's Born at Midnight. This is my super shiny book of the week. I can't promise I'll always have a super shiny book every week. But this one is this week's, and it is super shiny, and it's so awesome. You can't really tell, but there's all these shadows of trees in the background, and I just love, I just love this this picture. And this one, um, it kind of reminds me a little of Hex Hall in the description. Our uh, main character is sent for sent to a camp for troubled teens, and the teens they are more they're not really troubled as so much as they are vampires and werewolves and shapeshifters and fairies and witches and whatnot, and I believe she's one of them as well. She just doesn't know it yet. But I've heard good things about this. It's the first in a series, debut author, shiny, shiny, super shiny. Next is another debut author, uh, Gwen Hayes, falling under. I have a thing for debut authors. I really do. And you should check out my massive list down below. Click, click, clickety, click. Um, this one is more of a paranormal romance with some evil undertones. Um, haven't heard a whole, whole lot about it. I haven't heard bad things, but, um, I'm really looking forward to reading this. I, sometimes the paranormal romances get to me, but this one looks really well done. There's a few really cool elements, um, that I'm looking forward to reading about. And it's a really pretty cover. Okay. Next up is Cryer's Cross by Lisa McMahon. I loved her Wake trilogy that I finished up earlier this year. This one's supposed to be a little creepier um, in nature. And, I mean, just look at that cover. Cryer's Cross etched into a, a school desk. Um, and then even on the back it says, please, please save me. It's just kind of ominous and exciting. So, really looking forward to the smaller the town, the bigger the secrets. I thought that was kind of cool because I live in kind of a small town. If there are creepy secrets here, I don't, I don't want to know about them. But I'll read about them in other places. Next up is The Magnolia League by Katie Crouch. I haven't read anything by Katie Crouch, but um, I've heard that this one's pretty good. I actually read the first chapter in Borders before I bought it, and I got hooked. I got totally got hooked by the first chapter young girl sent to live with her grandmother in Savannah and kind of forced into the whole debutante scene, but there's something weird going on with those debutantes. And um, you see it says every society has a, has its secrets, which is kind of cool. But yeah, the first chapter just totally, totally drew me in, and I'll probably finish that up soon. I won't be able to resist, even though I have a bunch of other books that I was planning on reading next. This one might get pushed up to the front. So... That's all I got this week. Um, no book buying bans for me. So you'll probably see at least one or two books I've bought every week. I can't not not buy books. I, I just can't. I mean, I guess I could try to not, not, you know, ban or whatever, but I'm not going to. And um, hopefully you guys got a bunch of cool stuff as well. And... Um, let me know. Link up down below. And you hope you guys had a great weekend. Happy reading to everyone. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.